Ever imagined a world where your dogs could properly express themselves in human understanding? Life sure would be a lot easier for everyone. But unfortunately, that's not the case. As much as we want our dogs to live healthy and happy lives, we sometimes do things that cause them more harm than good. And having the best intentions does not automatically make these habits great for your dog. That is why today's video will be centered around 16 mistakes many dog owners make that end up hurting their dogs. Most times, none of these things are done intentionally, and that is why it is important that you take note of these behaviors. All right, let's get right to it. Number 1. Patting your dog's head Many dog parents today consider patting their dogs on the head a form of comfort to their dogs. This is mostly because their heads are the easiest to reach in times like these. But does that make it proper? Well, shocking as it may seem, the answer is no. In fact, this gesture irritates your dog more than you can imagine, and studies have shown that doing this only ends up making your dog feel very uncomfortable. This explains why canines always attempt to attack strangers who reach for their heads. The only reason it is different with you as the parent is because your dog is simply being tolerant. Even as a person, you definitely have never enjoyed anyone giving you a pat on the head. Well, it's the same case with dogs. So as much as you may be doing your best to give them some love and attention, you've got to do it the right way. Instead of reaching to pat them on the head, you could pat them on the neck or on the back instead. Or you could just give them a warm hug. That way, your furry friend actually feels safe and loved. Number 2. Exposure to Strong Smells Remember the last time you were in a room and someone wearing excessive perfume walked in? I can imagine you got very irritated or even nauseated. Well, it is not any different when it comes to dogs. In fact, it is a lot worse. We all know that dogs have a very impressive sense of smell which is about 10,000 times more acute than that of humans. Now imagine how nauseated your dog feels when you spray these fragrances on him after a walk just to get rid of the smell. And if we're being honest, this is not only a harmful approach, it's actually quite lazy too. Strong fragrances tend to irritate a dog's nostrils and, most times, could even lead to inflammation that makes it hard for your poor little pooch to breathe. So, for their safety, you may want to reduce exposing them to these fragrances and other strong-smelling chemicals as much as possible. Number 3. Taking Puppies to Dog Parks As exciting as it seems to take your little pup to the dog park, it actually isn't the best idea, especially if they haven't taken all their vaccinations. Without these vaccinations, these little ones are at risk of contracting different kinds of diseases and infections. Then there is also the fact that while your pup may be the sweetest, not every dog in the park is, especially the bigger dogs. These bigger dogs could even get aggressive once you get your eyes off your little pup and may even end up hurting him. Number 4. Lack of Rules and Routines if there is one thing most dog parents agree to, it is the fact that their pets are creatures of habit. This means that these dogs enjoy following regimens because they bring structure to their lives, thereby giving them confidence. This is why creating that perfect schedule for napping, eating, pottying, and even play is very necessary for these canines. Not having these sorts of routines only leaves them confused and could make them nervous. Once you have these routines set though, it can help reduce most behavioral issues. Keep in mind that in cases where these routines have to be changed, it's always best to take it one at a time, as even the littlest form of change can leave your dog very confused. Number 5. Giving them human food to eat One huge mistake many dog owners constantly make is feeding their dogs human food in the name of care. They fail to realize that a dog's alimentary canal is not the same as ours, and neither are their nutritional requirements. These foods are usually too fatty, too spicy, or even too salty for your pets. 
In fact, it's safe to say that the food we consume can be toxic for your dog. So when at the dinner table or just having a snack, try to look past those persuasive cute eyes and say no. Human foods you shouldn't be giving to your canines include almonds, ice cream, chocolate, or caffeine. Number 6. Giving them too much to eat Yes, all dogs love a sweet treat, but that doesn't mean you should go ahead and toss them one each time they whine or give those puppy dog eyes. You are the adult, so you've got to put your foot down and say no sometimes. Because just like in humans, overfeeding has its consequences in dogs as well. From diabetes to heart disease, obesity and bone abnormalities in pups, these are just a few of the havocs overfeeding can wreak on your dog's body. And let's not forget bloating. Overfeeding can make your dog feel so bloated that she can't even breathe because of the pressure on her lungs. And that's not even all. This bloating limits the blood flow to the heart, damages the stomach lining, and in some cases, leads to death. So the next time you want to give in to those irresistible puppy dog eyes and give the little guy whatever, just remember how much damage it could cause. A better choice will be to feed your dog based on their particular needs so they can maintain a healthy weight and live longer. Number 7. Feeding the Dog Bones Of course, we all know that dogs have this crazy attachment to bones like ants and sugar. And these bones are definitely high in nutrients and can also quell their appetite. In fact, chewing on a bone can help treat plaque buildup, stimulate salivary enzymes, and also prevent gum disease. However, many experts would caution that offering your dog a bone, even for these reasons, isn't worth putting him at risk. What many people may not know is that feeding a bone to your dog could lead to death in some cases. As your dog chews on the bone, little splinters begin to break off, which could cause choking or even pierce her esophagus, stomach, or intestine. Your dog could as well crack a tooth, get an injury in the mouth, or even have a stomach obstruction that could lead to surgery. Now, if you still choose to toss your dog a bone every once in a while, make sure to follow these rules to keep them safe. First, make sure you're not giving them cooked bones, which could easily break up into tiny little pieces and do a lot of damage. You might also want to make sure that the bone you are giving your dog is longer than his mouth, so he won't swallow it. Keep in mind that while no bone is too big, there sure are bones that are too small and therefore dangerous. Number 8. Not caring for its teeth With everything your dog eats in a day, it is very important that you take out time to wash your teeth as often as possible. And in the case where your pup isn't cooperating much, don't let that discourage you, because the payoff is definitely worth it. Dog parents who do not care for their pet's oral health put them at risk of periodontal disease, which could make them lose their teeth. But yes, most dogs won't cooperate, so you might have to start slow and incorporate dental treats. Best practice, however, remains starting young, so that your pet gets used to it as early as possible. As for frequency, you can adapt the three times a week routine. However, you will need to take her in for professional cleaning every six months. Number 9. Not Observing Flea and Worming Treatment Although not intentional, taking long periods between your dog's parasite treatment or not observing it at all can be very harmful. With time, these parasites begin to cause itchiness, secondary skin infection, anemia, weight loss, and digestive problems. All of these make life unbearable for your pooch. As they say, prevention is better than cure. So whether your dog leaves the house regularly or not, you might want to get her checked. Even in cold winters, when you think these parasites won't be active, it's still best to discuss with your vet how best you can protect your pooch. And finally, make sure that your dog is tested for heartworm infection every year. Number 10. Allowing the dog to stick its head out of a moving car. You may have noticed that your dogs enjoy riding with their head out the window. But just because they enjoy it doesn't mean it's good for them. While they may just be enjoying the wind and their fur and the different scents they get to perceive, 
sticking their heads outside the car window could be quite dangerous for your pet. Keep in mind that different hazards like branches and rocks on the road can hit them straight in the face. And then there's dust which could get into your dog's eyes. Finally, the constant flapping in the breeze, harmless as it may seem, could sometimes lead to ear damage. So just the same way you'd stop your kids from hanging their heads outside the window, you may also want to do the same with your furry friend. Number 11. Not securing your dog in the car. As relaxing as car rides may be, safety procedures need to be taken for a safe ride both for the rider and the passenger. And if your dog happens to be your passenger, it also deserves the same protection. Imagine a case where you'd end up in an accident. Your unprotected dog could get severely injured or even worse, not survive. Fortunately, there are many great options to make sure your dog is kept safe while you're out driving. You could choose to get harness seatbelts or pet carriers for your car. All you have to do is make sure you can get one that suits your needs. Number 12. Leaving your dog alone in the car. As a dog owner, one big mistake you must never make is leaving your canine alone in an enclosed car, even if it's only for a short time. Based on research, it has been proven that within a closed car, the temperature can rise as high as 20 degrees in under 10 minutes. Now, dogs can't sweat off the heat, so they overheat instead, which is why keeping them in an enclosed car can be fatal. If for any reason you will need to get out of the car to maybe run an errand, make sure you never leave your pooch behind in the car. The consequences could be worse than you imagine. Number 13. Using the wrong collar. As simple as it may sound, choosing the right collar for your dog is so important. And with the numerous kinds of collars that exist, choosing the best one for your canine shouldn't be so difficult. Collars might seem like they aren't such a big deal, but the wrong collar could actually injure Fido's throat, especially if it pulls too hard on him. This is why it is important that you go for what suits your dog, so you don't end up hurting her. Also, don't forget to keep checking for fit and replacing with larger collars as she grows bigger. Number 14. Not letting your dog socialize. Dogs being very social animals need to be allowed to interact with other dogs. If you don't allow your dog to socialize and instead choose to raise him in isolation, you will end up with a dog that cannot coexist with other dogs, not to mention other pets. This is why experts advise that you start getting your dog socialized right from puppyhood, or else you risk having to deal with behavioral problems later in life. What's even more shocking is that research suggests that these behavioral issues are the leading cause of death in dogs and not even infections as we tend to think. Number 15. Yelling even with humans, yelling is never a great form of discipline. So why do dog owners think the case will be any different with their pets? If you feel yelling at your dog solves anything, then you are very wrong. In fact, while yelling at your dog when she does something wrong may make them timid, it does not actually solve the underlying issue. And the reason is simple. Yelling scares your dog without letting your dog know what she did wrong. So don't be surprised when, after you're yelling, you see your dog going at the same thing again the very next day. So how do you communicate your emotions better? It's simple. Make use of rewards. That way, your dog learns when they're doing what you want. Number 16. Physical Punishments It's quite sad to know that certain dog parents go as far as physically punishing their pets all in the name of discipline. Physical punishment should never be an option. If you have a really badly behaved dog on your hand, there are good dog trainers available who can teach your dog good manners for a fee. There is never a good or justifiable reason to resort to physical abuse. In fact, all physical abuse against pets should be reported to the authorities immediately. That said, we can all agree that we never mean to hurt our dogs. 
And that's why it's important that we take note of moments like these and do better. And if you feel adrift in your relationship with your canine, you should check out our video, 14 Signs Your Dog Doesn't Love You. Thanks for watching.